It's got to do with putting yourself in other people's shoes and seeing how far you can come to truly understand them. I like the empathy that comes from acting. I have this theory that, depending on your attitude, your life doesn't have to become this ridiculous charade that it seems so many people end up living. But I learned that there's a certain character that can be built from embarrassing yourself endlessly. If you can sit happy with embarrassment, there's not much else that can really get to YA. I have a fear of being boring. Certainly I have no attraction to misery. I don't intentionally go for dark. I only sound intelligent when there's a good script writer around. Art is something to be proud of. Art is no compromise. I never want to feel that I'm playing it safe. I started my career without fans. I tend to think you're fearless when you recognize why you should be scared of things, but do them anyway. The only thing that I'm obsessed with is sleeping, and actually, it is more than an obsession, it is a pleasure. In everyday life, my wife is the most wonderful. We're in love with each other beyond belief. All of the muscles were gone, so that was a real tough time of rebuilding all of that. But you have a deadline, you have an obligation. You've said that you will commit to this part, and I just can't live with myself for not really giving it as much as I can. I like the idea of movies having a magic element. How many times have you seen an actor in a movie who you know only as the character? It's wonderful, isn't it? A teenager usually wants to try to get people to notice him in some way, to feel like someone gives a damn. Me, all that attention, I just wanted to fade into the background. Be invisible. Disappear.